Hi everyone, Basil Chapman, 11 o'clock, Tiger Financial News Network, market update, Dow's up 480 at 34,507. Yesterday was a really, uh, we were, f what, 500 and something points to the upside, 400 and something points, and then we smashed to the downside, went right to the 200 period moving average in the Dow in a shorter time frame from the left side, right side, a low that was made back in October, then the other lows are down at the 33,700s. So this is a very important bounce. We could actually bounce, make an arch shape uh, towards the 34,000, maybe even to the nine period moving average of 34,900 in the next two days, if in fact that was a really over oversold condition yesterday. And it makes on a short term basis 34,200. 34,150, really important support today. Meantime, back at the ranch, the Dow is actually leading percentage-wise above the uh, S&P. The S&P is up 39 at 4552. It made a lower low today, and that's going to be very important to monitor. And uh, this is a balance. And as I say, I think that we will be retesting this at some point fairly soon. Look at the QQQ, the NDX 100, trading down 34 cents at 386.75, not participating very well. And yesterday, it turned around and made that dreaded H pattern, broke below the left side low. It's, it's just very close to a sell signal in the daily. That's only... A sell signal. We'll see it by the end of the day. We're looking at the IWM trying to, between the down the IWM, you've got to get some kind of a bounce, but this bounce is not very good. It's up three at 216. But look at gold. Gold is now down uh, 16 at 1767. It's broken key support, making 1793 to 1798. Uh, very strong resistance. The dollar's holding okay. Yeah, it's holding okay. Uh, it's at 95.95. Uh, .95. But what's really important is the TLT bonds made a higher high today. They're trading down three ticks on the, on the TLT at 152.31. And that has helped yields come down. And the crude oil we were discussing in my show, the Tiger Conditions Hour, a moment ago, it is ready for a little bit of a bounce. But how much of a bounce is going to be a question? It's up 64 cents. Uh, it's up 82 cents at 66.38. If crude oil can bounce from this level into the 68.30s, that's going to be good. And maybe it has a little bit more of a bounce into maybe early next week. Then it does some retesting. So I'm going to hand you over to uh, Larry Pizzavento. Should be a wonderful show. He's always got great programming here. Larry, uh, think or swim with uh, Kevin Hinks. You've got Steve Rhodes, Dave White, and Tom O'Brien wraps it up with three to four today. Have a wonderful session and check out my opening call, my daily newsletter, and keep an eye on the Qs and the SMHs today. They're going to be really important to see. You're rolling over in sequential order in a consolidation. Be back tomorrow. Have a great day.